Let's bring in Congressman Bob Good. He is one of the eight Republicans who voted to oust Kevin McCarthy. He is a member of the House Freedom Caucus as well and been on the show several times. Congressman, uh, always appreciate you coming on here on the Hill. Uh, Scalise, Jordan, who are you supporting? Well, I voted for Jim Jordan. Uh, we need a transformational change in Congress. I think the fact that Jim Jordan got 99 votes uh, out of the 220 votes that were cast. It was basically a 110 to 110 split. 110 voted for Steve Scalise. 110 did not vote for Steve Scalise, so you did not have a majority. Uh, but we can't maintain the status quo. Washington is broken. Congress is failing the American people. There's nothing we're doing here that is working. And, and uh, Jim Jordan's speakership would represent that change the American people want. It's interesting that despite all of the very, very negative, consistent coverage of the vote to remove the speaker last week. The poll that you showed uh, indicated that only 30 percent of Republicans disapproved of that. Uh, independents and Democrats don't care who the Republican speaker is, but 30 percent of Republicans disapprove. I guarantee, so I guarantee you, if you tell them, would you rather have Speaker McCarthy or Jim Jordan as speaker, overwhelmingly Republicans would say Jim Jordan. If you ask them, would you rather have Steve Scalise or Jim Jordan as speaker, overwhelmingly Republicans would say Jim Jordan. The, the, the representatives here in Congress ought to do what the Republican base wants them to do, what the leading contender for the presidency wants them to do, and reflect uh, the will of the Republicans across the country, which which are overwhelmingly supportive of Jim Jordan as speaker, as you know. Congressman, just to, to drill down on this, are you a firm no when it comes to Steve Scalise? Well, I'm a firm no against the status quo. The Republican Party has not shown a willingness to fight, to use every weapon at our disposal to fight against the radical Biden agenda. Think about what we've done so far. We have passed messaging bills that have no opportunity to pass the, the Senate. And then on the spending fights, when we have leverage, when we have an opportunity to use the debt ceiling or to use the end of the fiscal year, we have totally surrendered and passed those bills once again with Republican majorities. We passed those bills with predominant Democrat votes. That is a betrayal of the American people who gave us the majority with $33 trillion in national debt, a $2 trillion deficit, and we were trying to cut $100 billion in spending. That was the McCarthy commitment, to cut $100 billion in spending uh, with a $2 trillion deficit this year, and we couldn't get the leadership to help us pass our 12 spending bills well before the fiscal deadline, as he promised to do. Uh, Steve uh, Scalise represents the status quo, and we've got to fight for more change than just going next in line. Okay, so that sounds like a, a, a no against the status quo, um, as you put it. Jim Jordan clearly doesn't have the numbers as it stands right now. So if Steve Scalise can't get there, if Jim Jordan can't get there, how long are you willing to go speakerless? Well, we'll see what happens. Uh, we tried to, as you noted in an earlier part of the program there, we tried to uh, pass an amendment that would say, hey, let's stay in conference. Let's lock ourselves in behind closed doors. Let's get to 217 votes, ideally 221, so it's unanimous. And let's, let, it's not just about who has the most support, as you know. It's also who has the least amount of hard no votes. If we had stayed in there until we got to 217, we would have been able to work on the on the vote that just took place to find out, okay, who is a hard no that's not going to vote for Steve Scalise? What do those numbers look like? And then Jim Jordan, who are the numbers that are a hard no? I don't think Jim Jordan has much in the way of hard no's in the conference, but most people in the conference, as, as you know, courage is a short, short supply in Washington. They do what leadership uh, sort of uh, uh, tells them to do. And I'll tell you something that happened in conference yesterday. One of the uh, members of Congress asked point blank in the candidate forum, both candidates, they said, what have you promised to anyone? What are the secret backroom deals? What have you promised anyone in order to become speaker in exchange for their vote? Jim Jordan very clearly, very explicitly said, I haven't promised anyone anything except to work hard for the conference. Steve Scalise did not answer that question. Interesting. All right, Congressman, I have to leave it there. I uh, hope you come on back. It, it sounds like this could uh, go on for quite some time, uh, potentially. But appreciate your time as always, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Great to be with you. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.